So, Pal World just released their roadmap, and I'm excited to share with you guys what they have in store for the future for this game. It's looking absolutely amazing. But yeah, before I get into all this, if you find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time sometime during this video and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leave a reminder here in the beginning. First off, let's just go ahead and pull up this roadmap picture, and then I'll get into a little bit over what they had to say about the launch of the game and what's to come. So yeah, as you can see at the top of the roadmap here, it states addressing critical issues. Currently, numerous bugs have been identified, and we are prioritizing fixing those. Sometimes the world date may experience rollbacks, the loading screen may persist when trying to load into worlds, and so on. So yeah, that's some of the things that they're going to be working on. Next up, we got improvements to implement as soon as possible. Key configuration improvements, that's one of the things they want to improve on. And improvements to base PAL AI and pathing. Some of you may have experienced your PALs like, you know, spawning inside of rocks and getting stuck in there. Or just getting stuck on top of trees. Or just getting stuck somewhere in general. They're working on improving that. So if that's something that may be bothering you right now, well, hopefully in the future it's something that you won't even be experiencing when they actually fix it anyways next up here is what i am most excited about the planned future updates uh so as you can see they have plans to add pvp into the game i'm curious on how that's exactly going to work out definitely interested in it though they also are going to be adding raid bosses this will be in-game content man i gotta say i'm really interested in seeing how these raid bosses turn out i'm wondering if we can catch them and you know, how powerful they're going to be. Are we going to need multiple people to take them on or what? I am really interested in seeing how these raid bosses turn out. But anyways, next up here, we got PAL Arena. This is going to be PvP for PALs. So we're getting PvP, which will be included in the regular PvP, but they're also adding a PAL Arena sometime in the future, which this is going to be strictly PvP for our PALs. That is amazing. I can't wait to join in on the action of that. That's going to be so much fun. It gives us more purpose on trying to get our PAL stronger. But yeah, anyways, they're also going to be adding Steam Xbox Crossplay. That's freaking amazing. Already, they're talking about Crossplay. That's amazing. Various Xbox feature improvements, server transfers and migrations, improvements to the building system. Heck yeah. New islands, PALs, bosses, and technologies. What? They're already talking about new islands. Like, we just got this island. The game just launched a, you know, not even a full week ago. That's insane. That's amazing, though. That is amazing. So we're going to be getting new islands, pals, bosses, and technologies. So, you know, more things that we can do at our base. That's what they mean by new technologies. I wonder what these new pals and bosses and stuff are going to be like. You know, it'd be kind of cool if sometime in the future, maybe they could add some story-driven content to this game. Like, give more backstory to some of the pals and trainers. Like, give them some more lore. I think that'd be kind of cool sometime, too, in the future. But heck, this already exceeded my expectation alone, which how much they already have planned for the future of this game. Of course, they're going to take this serious because they're blowing up. Like, they have already gotten, like, it's been confirmed, they have already gotten over 7 million sales in just a few days. What was it exactly? They have sold over 7 million copies in just 5 days. So yeah, just for a little bit of comparison here, over one of Pokemon's most popular sold games, which was Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, that sold over 10 million units worldwide during the launch weekend. And Power World has already sold 7 million copies in 5 days. And you gotta think, the developers who created Power World are a small indie team. And the developers who made Pokemon, well, they are insanely big. I mean, Nintendo helps produce Pokemon, so... Yeah, they definitely got more money to work with and a bigger team to work with, too. That is absolutely insane, guys. That's insane. Seriously, and it's also breaking records on Steam too as one of the most top played games like it has the most concurrent players Playing it which means people are actively live playing it not just you know picking it up and then playing another game No, they stay playing it. It has an insane amount of concurrent players There's literally been multiple articles 
over this topic. It broke records with 1.8 million concurrent players on Steam. That's just incredible. And this is only the beginning. Only the beginning. Seriously. As you just saw from Power World, they got a lot planned for the future. And just imagine when they roll out mods too for this game. That's going to create even more longevity playtime for this. People will be interested in, you know, downloading mods and experiencing mods on this. Like, can you imagine some modders implementing some, you know, little quests that we could do in Power World? I mean, you got to think about how Power World is. It's like a huge sandbox. Modders, I can just imagine, would go crazy with this. It's really open and has plenty to work with. But not only is it breaking records on Steam, it's literally one of Xbox's top played games too. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, well, it did just launch and stuff, but typically there's like a drop off, right? After a week or two, but there hasn't been. It just continues to go up, not down. <laughs> not like the day before. As soon as that launched, man, did it go down so quick. But yeah, we're not hearing like people complaining about their copy they bought and it wasn't what they expected and stuff like that like we did with the day before there were so many returns on the day before that company that made that game literally shut down that game yeah so yeah i don't think this is just like because it just launched i literally think this game is going to last so long i mean think about how long arc has lasted and is still popular and this game has a ton of similarities to arc i, I don't see this game dying anytime soon but yeah, anyways, now let's go ahead and get into what the Power World developers had to say about the launch and whatnot. So they ended up tweeting this picture of the roadmap, and with the roadmap, they also had to say this. The future of Power World. We would like to share with you our roadmap for Power World. Sales have far exceeded the development team's expectations, and we are currently experiencing many problems due to excessive access congestion, among other challenges. We will prioritize improving this issue first and then move on to implementing new in-game features. Thank you for your understanding. And then they go over what I just went over, the things that they have planned. So yeah, they're going to be implementing the bug fixes and stuff first, trying to smooth out the game. And then they're going to be rolling out the new future in-game features, such as like PvP, adding in the new raid bosses, and the power arena, and new islands, you know, technologies and whatnot. They'll be doing that after they smooth out the game a little bit more, which is great news. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for this game. I know this is just the beginning, and I'm glad to be a part of it. But yeah, I figured I'd just share this news with y'all. We literally just got it today, and just wanted to share it because this is some exciting news that Pocket Pair has in store for Power World. I gotta say, me personally, I'm super stoked. But yeah, I'm out of here though. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.